when I came to the Airbnb, I had long grain rice. It was supposed to use short grain, but I'm not about to buy a whole nother thing of rice when I already have this rice. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this as sticky as possible by adding more water. Because that's the whole point. They want you to have the rice that's going to be more sticky. We have the imitation crab, cucumber, green onion, mayo. I have the seaweed that we're going to wrap it in at the end. Salmon, cream cheese. And then here's our sauces and seasonings and stuff, you guys. We got rice and vinegar. We have soy sauce. This delicious stuff right here. Ugh. Farikaki. I have sesame oil. Bootleg sriracha. Because I wasn't paying $9. This was like $2, $3. The real stuff was like $9, so hopefully this is good enough, y'all. And then I got some teriyaki. I really wanted eel sauce, but I couldn't find it. So we're going to go with teriyaki sauce today. First thing I'm going to do is get my rice going. I have a little over two cups of rice in here, because remember I said I was going to try to make it sticky. A little over a cup of rice in here, too. So we're going to... Y'all can see none of that. Sorry. I had to look with my eyes. But uh, the rice is in there, y'all. So if this doesn't work out, I will try a second batch. Next, I'm going to season and marinate my salmon. I'm going to be seasoning this with soy sauce, my cousin's delicious all-purpose seasoning. Good as, to be, good as can be .co, y'all. Go get y'all shit for a sellout, I'm trying to tell you. And then I have some garlic, salt, and pepper. Okay, I have limited resources, y'all, so I'm doing my best. This is still going to be bomb, trust and believe. Garlic, salt, good as can be. Low sodium, so you can hook it up. I'm going to season the other side, and then we're going to throw it in the refrigerator. You know what, guys? I decided to peel this skin off now, rather than waiting until um, it's too flaky after I cook it. All right, we're going to marinate this for about an hour. Actually, too, because I'm about to go to the movies and all that. <laughs> okay, now, guys, I'm going to start chopping up some of my other items that I'm going to need. Some people put green onions inside of the salmon mix, and other people will just put it on top. I think I'm going to... A little bit of milk. And then cucumber does not go inside of the bake, but a lot of people were putting it inside of their seaweed wrap. So kind of making like a California roll or something with sushi. Some people also used avocado in their wrap. Now this is after everything is baked. So I didn't buy avocado. I had these. Remember I'm in the Airbnb y'all, so I gotta use what I have and not waste stuff. I like how somebody had like really thin slices of this, so I'm gonna try to get mine thin too. I don't even know if I should leave the skin on. I saw that that person did, but oof, I'm not a fan of um, cucumber skin, y'all. You know? So hopefully this is not a bad idea. And then the final thing I'm going to do is shred up the imitation crab. Feel free to buy real crab if you would like. Y'all, I thought this was going to shred up where I should have got the other one, I think. But guess what? <laughs> we going to make it work, okay? And there we are. So the rice has been cooking for about 20 minutes, y'all. Let's check on it and see how we did. Because you know we was trying to get it a little sticky. Okay, so this is the texture that I got, y'all. I mean, it's not as sticky as soft grain, but it's it's sticky, y'all. You see that? I mean, it's not completely individual pieces, so I think I did pretty well. So I did about two and a, and a fourth cup of water and about one and a fourth cup of rice. Now I'm going to toaster oven my salmon that the salmon is in marinated for maybe an hour and a half you guys you can also saute it on the top of the stove you can bake it i saw another lady air frying it so just get it cooked whatever way you would like to get it cooked i'm i'm gonna toaster oven this because i haven't used a toaster for salmon in years and it used to be very delicious so let's see how it works i'm gonna cook this for about 20 minutes all right guys so i'm gonna start preparing my rice we're really supposed to put that in the bowl so we can do some mixing, but I don't care. Okay, so now you add to this rice, rice vinegar. I don't have any measurements, y'all. People just winging it, so I'm about to wing it as well. Sesame oil. I don't like too much of this, so I'm not going to put too much. But, you know, you do it to the flavor you like, okay? Mix it up. Okay, so once you get the flavor you want, you can either smash, start smashing it down in your baking dish right now, and then add this on top which is what i'm gonna do and i also saw people just mixing this in with the whole thing you can also do that if you like sushi you're gonna love this this is so bomb y'all okay so i'm going to definitely put a good amount on it because i really love the flavor of it if you don't want to wrap each and each and every roll while you're eating it you can put the seaweed down here and you'll already have the seaweed in there and by seaweed i mean this the open it so you guys can see you can buy the long the big flat piece i chose to get this one because it's already cut up for me and I can just make cute little rolls with it. But you can put these, you can layer these right here if you want to. 
So you don't have to make each and every roll. You can just eat it. Y'all, look at that. Toaster, salmon, so bomb. You see all that juice still in it? Oh my God. I cooked it. I don't even know what the temperature was. It was just on bake for 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put most of this in here. Shred it up a little bit and let it cool off too. I'm going to add in the crab. Two ounces of the cream cheese. Half of my green onion because I'm going to put the rest on top. Mayo. Three tablespoons. Okay, we'll start with that. Okay, mix that all up. Now I'm going to spread this on top of the rice. Okay, so at this point you can either bake it right now or you can add your sauce and then bake it. Uh, the only sauce I'm going to put on here right now is this. I found some teriyaki sauce. I really wanted eel sauce but I couldn't find it y'all. So this will be close enough. I'm not going to bake it with any other sauce. I will add those after. So we're going to throw this in the oven 375 for 10 minutes. I walked back in the kitchen right on time. I'm just realizing I put 10 hours on instead of 10 minutes. <laughs> but it's been 10 minutes, so I'm about to take it out. Okay, in this bowl, I'm going to get my little spread ready. So we got the avocado cucumbers. And of course, we got to have the seaweed, right? Boom. Before I set up for the mukbang, I'm going to add sriracha. And then a lot of people did mayo or spicy mayo. I don't want any of that, y'all. But I will have it on the video and I'll try it, okay? All right, y'all. I'm back. So we about to try this out. It's still a little bit hot. I'm, I'm happy as heck about this setup, though, y'all. It's just not kind of lit, okay? I thought I was going to have trouble with the lighting, but it looks great somehow. It doesn't even look that bright in here, but somehow this is looking wonderful, y'all. So hopefully you guys can see almost everything. I got my little side platter here. I'm going to put some soy sauce on this. You probably can't see that that great, but... We gonna, we gonna work it out. We gonna work it out, okay? There we go. Alright, y'all. Who's tried this before? Are y'all excited that I'm about to try this? What's up? Did it look good? I got some bootleg sriracha. This was $3 versus the $8 one. That's the, you know, the, the real brand or whatever. I tasted it and I like it a lot. It tastes hotter than the regular sriracha. So, I don't know. I think Tasha will love it. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you take some seaweed. You grab... I want a piece with the sauce too, y'all. Okay. Let me put some more sriracha right here and then do it. Boom. So you dig all the way down to the rice. Ooh -wee. You put that in your seaweed. You know what? I already, I already did something wrong. I'm supposed to layer this in there first. But we'll just do it on top. Let's see. I'm going to try it without the... the Avocado first. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's really good. Oh, man, y'all. I'm wishing I had a couple things. Some eel sauce. Some wasabi. And some ginger. Oh, my God. That will set this whole thing off. All right, let's try it with avocado. Now this has a few other things in it, but it's not any. It's like onion salt and and salt or something like that. It's not a lot of stuff. So I don't think it's going to mess it up. But if you think it's gonna mess it up, just get some avocado. Mm. I want to dip it in soy sauce, but honestly. I feel like you should um, not season the salmon like you're just going to eat some salmon. Because with this, this has some salt in it, I believe. Then you, I, I marinated it in soy sauce. like So now I can't even really dip it in what I want to dip it in because it's going to be too salty. It's like, perfect like this. Mm. Mm. Now, I use this only because... I'm at an Airbnb. I'm trying to use up everything I bought instead of buying more stuff and then wasting this. But when I go home and I make this again, I'm going to get some avocado. Because I do feel like this is changing it. It's changing it up, it up some. 
I would prefer to just have some slices of avocado in there. But this is good. This is delicious. Now, I promised. I promised that I would try it with the mayo, y'all. I know this ain't the right one. They gonna be like, you should have got coupon mayo. That shit's still mayo, y'all. We got coupon at home. I've tasted it. I know what it tastes like. It is a little different than this, but it's still mayo. And when we get sushi and all and different things, I never use that mayo. I don't use coupon mayo, okay? I don't like mayo on my sushi. But because everybody uses it, I'm going to try it, okay? <sighs> Sorry, these mayo in the damn thing, huh? Okay. Yeah. I did a little, bit, a little bit too much there. Mayo. Yay. Definitely gonna put a cucumber in this one. Oh lord, it's mayo as heck too. Did I get enough of the other sauces? Mm. Mm -mm. I messed that all up, y'all. I mean, the mayo wasn't bad. The mayo wasn't bad. I thought it was going to be absolutely horrendous, but it really wasn't bad. Do I want some more of it? No, I don't. So, y'all, I'm having a great time. If y'all watch my vlogs, well, what do you think? I don't know when this video is coming out, but I think my vlog may have already came out for today. Y'all know what I'm trying to do right now. Get in the pool, okay? I ain't even trying to eat a lot because I don't want to. It's not fun to swim when you're stuffed, okay? Really not. I've been trying to get in the pool every day since I got here. Yesterday I was in there for a little while. But I had I got here right after my left mom. I was so tired. I didn't have no fun in the pool. Mm. I was stuck. So it's uncomfortable. I refuse to do that today. I'm going to do one more of these. And then I'm going to leave. I was going to do a viewer topic. But I forgot. I ain't at home at all. I don't have the resources that I have when I'm at home. Usually I'm using a camera and I dumped off that rice because I forgot I ain't trying to get full. Um, I was at home doing a video with the camera. So I read my topics off my phone. At the Airbnb, I'm doing the video off my phone. There's no phone to read the topic off of, okay? Totally forgot about that. Yeah, this is good, y'all. I'm liking it. I'm going to look at some other versions. Because I feel like it could be better. I should have waited until I got home and did Kiana's 45 ingredient version. Because I know that. I know it's mine. This was the quick version that I found two people doing on, on TikTok. It's very good. Very, very good. What I would do different is put less seasoning on my salmon. Everything else, perfect. I'm definitely going to have a wasabi and ginger, and I'm going to find some meal sauce as well, because I just need all that. <laughs> this is like sushi, so I got to eat it like sushi, okay? Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all made this and have any tips for me, leave it in the comments below. I will try it. But until next time, only goodbye. Look how good this, look how good it looks though. Only go out, y'all.